happy Saturday. It is currently 10 a.m. I think. Oh, I'm lying. It's 11.28. My bad. Anyway, happy Saturday. Welcome back to the weekly vlogs. Today is going to be like a day in my life or a few days in my life. I don't know. I am just picking up the camera because I decided that I wanted to vlog. I just got a text from my good sis Shanice. Like when I tell you, I am so grateful for the friends that I have created over the last couple of years because we just share our blessings and it's really nice here. I love it here. The best friend group ever. So she sends me a text and she's like, hey, there's a Nike event. Be ready by one. She's she's leaving her house at 12. She lives about 30 minutes from me. So I have to hurry up and get ready. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Look at it. It's. But luckily, it's a workout event. So technically, I could do like a light everyday type of makeup look right I showered did skincare I was about to actually show you guys my blowout routine um, with the Dyson Airwrap which that is a whole nother beast in itself the Dyson Airwrap has become my favorite hair tool of all time it's a lot outside busy street but anyway the Dyson Airwrap has become my favorite hair tool of all time I am about to see if I can find a cute little workout situation i have some cute stuff but like this which is from amazon is really cute it has the back out but it's cold alexa what's the weather today in los angeles it's 71 degrees fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies today you can look for intermittent clouds with i a mean high of 72 degrees and a low of 53 degrees it's 71 it's not super cold but it's not hot so maybe just maybe i'll wear this little number a little jumpsuit or yeah a little jumpsuit with some white socks i have this white um workout jacket i only thing i hate about this jacket is that it gets so dirty so quickly and it stains this is also from amazon um I had a black one, but the zipper broke on the black one. Boo. I think I'll just wear some white socks. And um, I won't even worry about fixing my hair because I still have to fix it later. So I'll end up showing you guys my blowout routine in this video as well because it is so good. I washed my hair. Um, I've had my sew-in in since January. It's the uh, towards the end of February. I take it out next month. Um... And then I already have a new hair appointment with the same girl. She did such a good job. If you're in the Los Angeles area, definitely check her out. I'll put her at on the screen because she's so fire. The only thing is, it is hard to get in. But once you're in, you're in. So it's just like consistency on showing up to make sure you get an appointment. I wish... I do have a brown one of these. Maybe I should wear the brown one if I can find it really fast. Um, I'm not sure if this is straight or cook it but I'm dressed I already have my coffee I've been up for a, a long time I've just been like doing cleaning and organizing a shower did my skincare and then I was about to film for you guys my like I said my blowout routine but that's gonna have to wait um let me grab a mirror Ugh, let's go where are you so to piggyback off what I was saying um, earlier, like my, I've met people who have completely changed my outlook on friendship and what it actually means. I've also learned how to be a better friend. Um, and I think that's super important because we get into a rotation or a routine of just thinking like, okay, I do these things so I'm a great friend, but I've learned to listen a bit more. I've learned to be more open-minded and to also be more present with my friends and attentive. Like, I'm already an attentive person, but attentive in the ways that they need me to be attentive, if that makes sense. Um, I am super, super grateful for the relationships and the friendships and the bonds that I'm building. Especially when, you know, it's hard making friends in your adult age because it's not like you see them every single day. It's not like... You guys go to school and you are guaranteed to see that person. It's literally 
carving out that time to see that person. And at my age, I'm in a space where people are having babies and, you know, they're in relationships or getting engaged or doing all of these things that we do. That concealer stick just blends out so beautifully. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Anyway, like we do all of these things that are like for our next phase of life and just to be surrounded by such beautiful, smart, intelligent, motivational, inspirational, creative, like women who are also super, super helpful, super supportive, always looking to push me to be better. It's a good feeling. So let me hurry up and get ready and stop babbling so much. By the way, if you guys haven't tried the NYX concealer sticks, you need to try them. Um, for blush, I'm going to use the Clarins lip stain. Oh no, it's the Clarins water stain. It looks like this. Focus. This is the Clarins water stain and this is in the shade Rose Water, I believe. Just give me a little... And then I'll use a puff to just. So that's my quick little 10 minute makeup routine. Really, really quick, really easy, but it looks like you put a lot of effort into it and you look really put together. So now I'm going to just finish getting ready a little bit, just put on some lotion, switch out my bag, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Welcome back to another day in the vlog. It's currently Sunday. I am heading to go get coffee and some breakfast. I'm not in the greatest mood. I just woke up feeling like ugh today. Um, so I decided to give myself a little pick me up and go grab some breakfast and coffee. And then I need to go to Nordstrom um, to pick up a few things and Sephora. I'm running out of a couple of things. So I need to go do that. That's what's on the itinerary. I hate when I wake up and I just feel like my energy's off before I even get out of bed. It's annoying because I want to wake up in a good mood. I think it might be also because it's gloomy outside. Maybe it's because of a multitude of things. Um, and I've been having a lot of thoughts and a lot of feelings just about a lot of different things, just about outgrowing people and realizing I don't know, I feel like as you get older, you enter on these journeys that you only understand once you get there. Like, people can explain it to you, they can describe it, 
they can also give you advice on how to navigate through it but it's not like a feeling only you know like when it's your time to grow and I've been experiencing a lot of growth over the last year of my life maybe like year and a half two years just in different ways like evolving into a more I don't know complex individual if you will just trying to understand certain things and trying to be a better communicator and trying to be a better friend and sister and daughter and all of these things and I just feel like sometimes I get a bit overwhelmed and I'm definitely feeling overwhelmed with social media I've been feeling this way for hmm, maybe like the last two months if you will I don't know I've been telling my friend Brie and Shanice or my friends Brie and Shanice that I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed because I feel like I've been getting in the routine of just wash, rinse, repeat. If you if you know when you're in the content realm of things, you have a very uh, what is the word like strategic routine. It's very like the same things. It's different days, but same routine in a sense where I've been hyper focused on work and I've been feeling a little stagnant, a little stuck. And I'm trying not to get burnt out where I don't want to post at all. Um, and I think it's also just me being hard on myself and not really giving myself the grace to see what I'm doing and what I'm accomplishing. And I think that just takes a toll on your confidence in general when you're like you're beating yourself up. So I'm experiencing a lot of feelings present day. <laughs> So I'm trying to figure out ways to be more proactive and more productive and get myself out of that slump before I crash or like plateau when I'm like, I don't want to film at all. I don't want to create, create content. I don't want to do anything. I just want to kind of lay in bed. And I also think that I've been doing so great because a lot of people suffer from seasonal depression and I am definitely one of those people. And I've done so great. Like, I don't remember the last time I was like, okay, I'm suffering from seasonal depression like I've been doing really great navigating it and I feel like the last two months I have gotten into the cycle of like I can feel myself falling back into feeling that seasonal depression and just feeling very overwhelmed and overstimulated and being exceptionally hard on myself and I'm trying to break it like break up the monotony of the same old repetitive thoughts of like beating myself up and not being kind to myself and not giving myself that grace so that is what I'm trying to do today just getting myself out of the house getting a little bit of sunlight that is here um and just trying to enjoy the day overall instead of sitting inside in bed in my head about things no so we're taking the right steps so far getting up getting some sun and I'm gonna probably go for a walk um as well just to kind of get some extra steps in and just be outside and just keep my mind clear I've also been listening to a new podcast I've been listening listening to a podcast uh, by Janelle Roberts called to all the people podcast I think it's called um, but it's so good and I feel like it resonates so well just talking about how like outgrowing people and navigating through life it's in this season like this is the second season and it's not so hyper focused on trauma and I, I agree with something that she said like she doesn't want to continue to talk about trauma and it's like okay once you get it out and you say it and you release how you felt or those emotions about it it's like okay let it go like okay moving on it's like it doesn't have to be a continuous conversation where you're constantly talking about trauma this trauma that trauma 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 um, so instead of focusing on trauma, she's talking about other things in her life. And I think it's nice when you listen to people who are close in age or similar in age or even the same age as you and you hear them talk and they are experiencing the same form of what you're feeling, not the same exact thing because everyone is different and no one can feel exactly what you feel but when someone can you can relate to someone and they feel very very close to what you 
are experiencing and feeling and they understand it and and they get it it's a nice feeling because you don't feel like oh I'm crazy or oh I'm being dramatic or it's like a sense of relief like I don't want anyone to feel how I feel but when someone's able to understand it it kind of takes off some of the pressure because you're like okay I'm not alone if that makes sense so I say all that to say that the podcast is very interesting so I'm gonna listen to that on my walk or while I'm out today in general um but yeah I hope you guys are having a great Sunday I just wanted to give you a quick little car rant <laughs> and give you guys some of what I was thinking while I was driving in traffic um yeah and I'll see you guys once we make it to grab some food and some coffee tell me what you say now tell me what you say you said that you would come again you said that we would remain friends but you know that i do not depend on nothing or no one so why would you show up so uninvited and just change my mind like that please don't take this personal but you ain't shit you ain't special till i made you so you better act like you know Everybody's like, he's no item. Please don't like him. He don't wife him. He one night him. I never listen, no. I should have figured, though. All the shit you were spitting so unoriginal. But it was you, so I was with it. Then I tell you the truth, which we never did it. a quick little haul of what we picked up yesterday from Sephora. I forgot to do it yesterday. On to the Sephora haul. So the f I only got two things. The first thing is something that I actually went to Sephora for. And then the second thing is just something that I saw while I was there. And then I wanted to get some other stuff, but when I tell you it was packed, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get this because I'm already here. I'm just going to get out. Um, So I'll make another Sephora trip sometime this uh, upcoming week. The first thing that I got is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. Now, I have this concealer, but I have it in a different shade. And I love the concealer, but I wanted to get the concealer in a lighter shade to really brighten up my under eye. I love a bright under eye. I just think it makes your makeup look super, like, glam and lifted. Um... It's just kind of my, my gig. But I also do love having a concealer that is my same skin tone or more or closer to my skin tone when I want to do something more natural, something more lightweight, and it's something that I'm doing for like an everyday type of look. I love that too. So I was like, I need to get another one of these concealers. So that's what I did. I got the shade LM9. She's a few shades lighter than my complexion which is going to be great for brightening the under eye. The next thing that I got is the Sephora Collection Colorful Blush in the shade Fascinated. Did I get the wrong color? It looks like this. It's like this orangey blush. I have been in love with like a bronzy, orangey, kind of like sunburnt look I think it just looks really pretty especially on like browner tanner skin it just it's really really good it looks very sun-kissed um if you guys are not following me on Instagram then you should because I post a lot of makeup tutorials over on Instagram and that's like where you can see all of the I wanted to show you the color so it's like this really pretty orangey shade I think it's gonna be perfect for summer and then even 
just anything in between it's not super pink it's like a really pretty orange tangerine color i think it's gonna look so good on my skin i can't wait to try it out this hair tool right here is my absolute favorite favorite hair tool i have never loved a hair tool so much until i started using my dyson i have had this for well over two years if not maybe a little bit longer um and i kind of just put it in my drawer and i was like i'm not going to use this like i don't really care for it i don't I don't really need this and fun fact I can't curl my hair with an actual curling iron so I wanted to get the t3 but I'm like I'm not good at curling my hair I, I'm just not good at it I don't know why I suck at curling my own hair when I'm not doing like wand curls or using like a flat iron to give me curls but this bad boy right here the Dyson Airwrap is hands down my new favorite hair tool ever so first I would start off by like just combing my hair through and I don't do this in like a perfect form. This is literally the easiest, quickest. I'll just put this side in a scrunchie because we're going to work on the other side. Um, I do use a little bit of bio silk to give me a little bit of shine. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little tiny drop because a little bit goes a long way. And I find that I don't like my hair to look weighed down. I just like it to have a nice little shine. So a tiny, tiny bit. And I just break it through all of the hair. And the rollers that I have, I got them from Ulta a while ago. So these are what they look like. That's what we're going to use. So I like to take pretty big sections. Okay, and then I let my hair sit like this for about 10 minutes. All right, we laid our edges down, nothing too crazy. Now we can just start taking out the rollers. And I just pull on them. They don't have to be perfect. You. So this is what my hair looks like so far. And all I do is I just kind of rake my fingers through it like so. And then you can just manipulate it and style it the way you want to style it. So once I like the desired layout of the hair, like if I like how it's falling and I've like styled it and I got rid of all the frizz and the flyaways and all that stuff, I'll then go in with the Jizu hair perfume which smells really, really good by the way. And I'll just give it a little spritz. So when the wind blows, the cradle will rock. <laughs> now, just as the wind blows, you can just smell your hair and it just smells good. So whenever someone passes you and you're talking or you flip your hair, it smells good. So this is my little blowout routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it because it's super quick. It's really simple. It's beginner friendly. And I do enjoy the fact that it doesn't take a lot of skill. It's literally just sectioning your hair really quick, using the um, air wrap, and then using a roller to set it. Or you can even like pin curl it. Like you can roll it up and then use a like a bobby pin or a hair clip just to like hold it in place. It's just to lock in the heat of the curl so that when it falls, it's a little bit more bouncy and the curls last a lot more, a lot longer. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend in my life. It was very casual, very simple, very chatty, but also very good. I've been trying to get better at vlogging and also not feeling so much pressure to always have so many things going on, especially right now. I'm feeling very overwhelmed with social media just because I am really showing up every single day on multiple platforms on Instagram on TikTok 
on YouTube, on YouTube Shorts. And sometimes I just feel like when I don't see growth, it makes me feel stagnant and it also makes me feel like I'm not doing enough. So I push myself even harder and then when I don't see growth then, then I beat myself up about it. So I've been getting too hyper-focused again on numbers, which is a thing that every, every creator goes through. Like when you start focusing highly on numbers, it's not the same. It takes longer. So I need to get back in the mindset of only creating content because I genuinely love it and everything else will follow. So I'm gearing back to getting into that mindset and that mentality. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was very chill, just hanging out over the weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.